Welcome back, everyone. So if you traveled last summer, then you know checking a bag felt like a game of roulette. <laughs> Would your bag make it on the plane? Would it make it through your layover? Would you ever see it again? Oh, no. <laughs> so suddenly traveling with just a carry-on bag seemed like a smart thing to do. But how do you fit everything you love into one small bag? To help us answer that question and to show us how is National Geographic contributing writer Heather Greenwood Davis. Welcome back. Yeah. Heather, listen. I am one of those people where I, I have a hard time leaving things behind. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is this carry-on life that you're talking about? Listen, I used to be like you, Lainey. Okay. I used to spend the night before sitting on the suitcase, trying to zip it up, everything I owned in there, not wearing half of it, all of that, but no longer. I have been carry-on only for at least 10 years. Wow! Including a trip around the world for a year with two children and my husband. Carry-on only, two weeks of clothes, totally. Listen, this is why you're going carry-on only. You know your stuff goes arrives with you. You're not paying those extra fees in the checked luggage line. Yeah. And if you have to drop and change your flight quickly, you can go, right? You're Everything there. is with you. You're ready and to go. And then traveling in between places, too, is so much easier. Oh, my God. So, Heather, you have some items here that can help us with travel, uh, carrying with just some little packs and stuff like yeah. that. But before we get into it, what do we need to think about if we want to ditch check okay. luggage? Okay, so first of all, where are you going? What is the weather going to be like? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you going to be active? Are you going to be on the beach? Are you going to business events? You know, mm -hmm. what do you need? How are you going to make these items work for you? Is there laundry where you're going? Mm -hmm. Right? Do your clothes do double duty? And finally, which is what I'm going to talk about today, do you have the tools for the job? Ooh. I don't know if I have the tools for this. <laughs> for this, but you are going to give us some carry-on tips, specific, uh, specific tips for specific types of travel, starting with packing for a trip with kids. Yes. Oh. So here's the perk about traveling with children. Everyone who has a ticket can bring a personal item and, and carry-on luggage. Gotcha. Give that kid something to do. Hand yeah. them some responsibility. <laughs> give your kids their own carry-on. That's the tip. So the first bag we've got there is a state from state bags. It is a roll of board and your Cute. kid's gonna love this it comes in all kinds of colors and and patterns it's got a water bottle strap that's gonna hold stuff it's easy to roll it's water resistant and then above it you've got a matching backpack so oh think about God. it you're gonna use this whether you travel or not yeah. right and it's got all the things you need it's gonna carry extra stuff perfect if you have little little ones trunkies Totally love the trunkies. Kids can ride on this luggage. What? Yes. So you can either let them use, you know, Fred Flintstone pedal power, or you can pull them along. No! Oh my In the gosh. airport, there is not a child that will not love Lady, that we're luggage. trying to Does it take an You're adult's weight? Yeah, I know. It's not. I'm gonna, oh my Ask God. Me how I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so your next tip is going hands free. Absolutely. So here's the thing I always say you have two hands, one of them is holding your bag, one of them is holding your child. So who is holding the coffee? Oh. A very important question. Right. So what we have here is a portable coffee uh, carrier. You're going to attach it to the handle of your bag. It's from Remont. And you can stick your coffee cup in there. You can stick in a baby bottle, you know, keys, anything you want to have in your hand, and pull it along with you. I love this. Wow. These are such good tips. Okay. So next travel scenario. Let's say we're going on a girl's trip. Shenanigans might be had. <laughs> what do you suggest for that style? Shenanigans must be had. <laughs> there you go. So That's be better. ruthless. Be ruthless about what you bring with you, right? You do not want to get there and find out that you brought only three t-shirts and two of them have holes in them. Right. Try on your clothes before okay. you go. Good tip and leave some of your shoes at home. Aww. Not a popular tip. You only want to take two to three pairs of shoes with you max. You might not even need that. I totally agree. You wear the sneakers, the heavy shoes, and then you pack cute sandals. Exactly, that's if all you presumably need. Presumably you're going somewhere not like Alaska. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. But this bag is gonna help you out. So my tip here is when you get home from this amazing trip, don't fully unpack. So this is the Ebby Rain's um, Sorry, quartermaster and valise combo. It's down, down front there. It's really cute. It's yeah. gorgeous. And what I love is that inside it has all kinds of <gasps> compartments that stay in the bag. So you're going to fill those up with your little toiletries and what have you that you only use when you carry on travel. And it's going to stay there uh, while you are home. That's such a good idea. Oh, my so, gosh. 
Sometimes it's a girl's trip, but sometimes it's a work trip. A lot of people traveling yeah. for business these days. So what tips do you have for the business traveler? Okay, so business travelers are traveling a lot. There's gonna be a lot of wear and tear on that bag. So we've got a suitcase here down front. It is the uh, Essentials Spinner from Briggs & Riley, mm -hmm. and it's got a 100% lifetime guarantee. Oh, that's, Ooh. I like that, so I like you that. you can just use the serial number, find that out. It's gonna take care of everything for you, and it can hold two suits, no ironing required when you get there. Fantastic. Stop. Yep. Up top, you're gonna ditch the duffel bag, go for a backpack. This oh. can hold five dress shirts, three pairs of pants, and three pairs of shoes. Wow. Okay, oh, just wow. the backpack. So you've got a suitcase on your back, which is gonna you help as well. You said ditch the duffel bag. Ditch the duffel bag, go for the backpack. Okay. Oh, wow. And how about cutting the cord? That's your next tip. Yeah, so we've got it down front here, but cutting the cord, do you know you've got so many what different cords? So many cords, so many electronics, the phone, oh. all of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't cut the cord. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're right, I easily have five cords right. when I'm traveling. Yeah. yeah. This can charge three things at once. So look for things like your MagSafe chargers, those sorts of items, they're gonna help. But this one is the STM GoTree. It's gonna charge three of your items at once. It packs flat, you stick it in your purse or your bag, carry it with That's you. That's incredible, loved it. Okay, so you have one more big tip for us and a package challenge that goes along with the tip? Yes, okay. so before I tell you the tip, I wanna tell you one more thing, which is Bose noise canceling headphones. So do not get on a plane without noise canceling headphones. That is, that would just be a terrible mistake. But yes, the big tip is compression. compression. So you always wanna be looking for compression in whether, whatever bag you're carrying with you. Mm -hmm. These in front of us are Monos compression packing cubes. So a lot Huge. of people like to use packing cubes, which means compression is gonna actually uh, get all of the air out of the bag when you pack. So here you go, what you're gonna do, You've each got a bag of clothes. We're gonna finally answer the question of whether it's better to fold or to roll. Oh my oh. God. Oh. Lady, okay. you're team fold. Jess, you're team roll. I'm team roll? Whoa. You're gonna get all of that in these bags and the problem is your plane is leaving in about 40 oh. seconds. So oh. the clock. Okay, oh, oh my gosh. God. What am I doing? I'm folding or rolling? You're I'm folding. I'm, rolling. I'm rolling. I'm folding. Oh my God. Faster. Roll. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, roll. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. The plane's leaving, lady! <laughs> oh. I like your style, Lainey. Well done. Well, huh? huh? Did she? Uh, oh my God. Uh, uh. Here we go, oh, here we go. Oh, shapewear? Look like Who's giving me shapewear on vacation? <laughs> that is inappropriate. <laughs> Or you'd actually compress it as well. well. So sorry, but that looks oh, like Oh, I can make it flatter. I can make it flatter. Oh, Heather, that was so much fun <laughs> and so in, so great, such great information. Thank you to our friends at the source, everybody, because you are all going home with a pair of quiet comfort two noise canceling. Great. Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.